Poll numbers show in Wisconsin that women may be a deciding demographic in this election. Political reporter Jessica Arp took a closer look at this year's gender gap, Jess. Well, yeah, there's often a gender gap just because men and women tend to diverge in which party they support. But this year, a dive into the Marquette poll numbers shows a striking difference, especially among conservative women. So we reached out to some across the state. I'm not feeling great about this election. Andrea Huberty's feelings about this election have left her with a lot of work to do. I am currently undecided. Um, two weeks away, I've been watching debates, I've been reading a lot of articles. Madison resident says she intended to vote Republican at the beginning of the primaries, but that's changed. If I had to make up my mind right now, I would be voting more so against one candidate than for the other. Mm -hmm. And who would that be? I would be voting against Trump. In Waukesha County, Sarah Coyman thought she knew too. I voted Republican in pretty much every single election on every single thing. But this year, she says she nearly wasn't going to vote for Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump until she announced a decision on Facebook last week. I'm voting right in for the first time in my life. These two women are not alone. When you break out how Republican men and women are voting this year, you can see this dramatic shift in Marquette polls from 2012. Back then, Republican men and women voted nearly the same. This year, while Trump still has a lead amongst Republican women, it's 15 points less than men. It matters in part because this is now a very active issue in the campaign, is Trump's treatment of women and attitude towards women. We, of course, have the first woman candidate for a major party for president. But Republican women say they're fighting the trend. Marion Krumberger says polls show Trump up in the Fox Valley. She's been working in Brown County for the Women for Trump coalition. I challenge that 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 here here locally and in Brown County. I do not see that. There might be some gap that there are some women saying, wow, it's a woman. I really want to see a woman president. Fine, that could be. But I don't see that. I don't see that gap here. You won't see that here. But for some women, like Huberty, there may be nothing left to do but mark a ballot. I don't know that there's anything that Trump could say at this point that would sway my vote in his direction. Now, Huberty did say she's considering whether to vote for a third party in this race. The poll numbers also show that women are more likely than men to be undecided in this race as well. You may wonder whether this gap has developed since the release of the Access Hollywood video or the most recent debates. Instead, these numbers are from before that time, from July to October and that weekend of the video release. But we may see more about these numbers with the last Marquette poll that is set to come out at the beginning of November. That's going to be a really interesting dynamic to see how it all turns out on election this, day. And it all depends on who of these folks turn out. Yeah, what we're looking out. for over this time is registered voters as well. Now we're looking at more likely voters mm -hmm. in the most recent polls. But still, this is, a, this is a wider span, so it's a bigger chunk. But it's really an interesting dynamic this year. All right. Jessica, Thanks, thank you. Jess.